Ah, oh, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Howdy, folks. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Returning to Skyrim. Yep. Need something to break up the Assassin's Creed videos that I'm posting, and so I decided to return to Skyrim. And upon returning to Skyrim, I realized I need to join the Dark Brotherhood because I'd already done that mission where a Strid kidnaps you and puts you in a cabin somewhere and has you kill people and, you know, that type of stuff. So I've decided I will join the Dark Brotherhood and do some assassinations. So let's get on with joining the Dark Brotherhood. When joining the Dark Brotherhood, you have to find their sanctuary near Falkareth and, well, talk to a creepy door. Kind of creepy. And then it asks you a weird question, which you must answer. So let's go talk to the door. What is the music of life? Welcome. After this, you get to talk to a Strid and meet your fellow assassins. It's wonderful. I mean, hey, these guys are kind of creepy. And here we come to Astrid. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Soon, my dearest. Soon. I'm arranging a job for you, but I need some more time. For now, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah. But one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Try not to. But I do realize it's sometimes not that easy. You may want to make a statement, or a contract may require a public killing. Murder is obviously a very serious crime, and a very high bounty will be put on your head in the hold where the act was committed. You can run, obviously, but you'll still have a price on your head. If a guard attacks, you can attempt to yield by sheathing your weapon. If the guard accepts, you can serve your time in a cell, or pay your bounty. We've all gone through it. We do what we must to survive. But there is another option. Some members of the Thieves Guild in Riften can get their bounties erased for a price. Something to think about. They used to come from the Night Mother. Potential clients would perform the Black Sacrament and she would hear their prayers. The Night Mother would communicate this to the listener, who would then dispatch a speaker to arrange the contract with the client. But that was a long time ago. There hasn't been a listener in years. Not since Cyrodiil was overrun in the war with the Thalmor. But people don't know that, so they still perform the ritual. And we eventually hear about it. When someone wants us, we find out. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. 
All those rules, all that discipline, and look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very Again. eager to Again. meet you. Yeah, some of that stuff comes in handy. That part about the bounty, well, I'll run into that a little bit later. Little girl, would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine's dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful. Such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> They're bad, bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, oh, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. So you're the newest you member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. Well, I've heard quite a bit about you. <laughs> Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. If you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex Miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytil, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Go on now. And after you've got your contracts, you might as well stop by this word wall, which is located within the Dark Brotherhood's um, sanctuary and uh, pick up a word, you know? I mean, gonna absorb some dragon souls and stuff, too. Because now I'm gonna show you the contracts that were assigned to me, or would be your character, by Nazir. And, well, they're relatively basic and easy, but something didn't go really well when I did the first contract. As I was approaching the first potential contract, something happened. A dragon landed, and well, I have to deal with him.
I dealt with this dragon, and I'm getting blasted by another. Well, good thing I switched to Dragon Rend, and I can bring him down, and, well, take another dragon down. Hey, and there is my uh, target, Enodius Papias. Yeah, and he's just standing there. But I'm going to switch to my Dragon Bow, Dragon Bone Bow. And I got to power it up first, and then I'm going to shoot him from a distance. Yeah, I'm such a wonderful person. Rather than just cut them up with my swords, I'm going to stick an arrow in them. Yeah, I racked up some bounties, but I'm going to check the body out, scope out his camp, and then go on to my next kill. And hopefully I won't be witnessed. I mean, I should just let the guy get killed by a dragon. And here's his camp. Pretty sad. So on to the next bounty or kill. The next guy is Narfi, and hopefully there won't be any witnesses when I kill him. And let's get to this. No bounties, no witnesses. Let's see, what does Narfi have on him? Yeah. Not a lot. So, yeah, he's mining stone. And he lives in this burnt down, beat up cabin. But I'm going to go on to my final kill. The next target is B. Tilled, and she runs the iron mine in Dawnstar. I'm wondering why someone wants her killed, but that's. Not really my care or worry. Maybe I should go talk to her and find out a little more about her. I'm no one special. I'm really Just not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. I have a mind to run, so if you'll excuse me. Bait thinks I drink on the job. But what is it? Now I'm going to try and do this as stealthy as possible. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to switch to the bow and crouch down, hidden, detected, hidden, detected. Yeah. And I'm detected and I shot. Damn it. Bounty added. Uh, yeah. I guess I could run away, or I could surrender to the guard and pay 1,040 gold. Hmm. Yeah, they're out looking for me. I could easily just walk away. You can't fast travel. So I'm going to surrender and pay my bounty. Really? My order of the art. Stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. With that done, I hope they didn't move Batilde's body, because now I get to steal from it. Let's see, what does she have? Ooh, 
amethyst, gold, mm, key of her house, that's always nice, necklace, ring. Yeah, now I'm going to report back to the Dark Brotherhood. Once I get back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, they're all standing around and listening to Cicero. The weird jester guy hauling his mother. I think I did a video about that. I will try and link to it, but I digress. Let's hear what they have to say. Dare risk disobedience and surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. I'll be quiet. Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool greeting the Night Mother and her little jester. She has a contract for you. Come see me afterward. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as keeper. Understood, husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Wait! Oh, wait! I know you. Yes. Yes! From the road, Cicero never forgets a face. I am! I am! But not just my mother. Our mother. Hmm? The Night Mother. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you helped me. You helped poor Cicero. You talked to Lorius and got him to fix my wheel. Oh, you may have pleased me, but you have surely pleased the Night Mother. And our mother, she will never forget. Now I want to talk to Nazir and collect my rewards for the assassinations, which aren't much, but, well, it's interesting. He's kind of a douche about it. Still here. What's the matter? Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment. For a job well done. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later.
And there you have it. Join the Dark Brotherhood, kill some people, and they're kind of all kind of creepy. But I guess that's what you expect from assassins. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll stay informed because I post four videos a week involving video games and a short on Wednesday. And you definitely want to find out when they're posted. And you definitely want to watch them. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.